All right, welcome back everybody. Again, my name is Drew here with Twin Cities Property Finder, one of the licensed real estate agents, and we're gonna continue our dive into North Star MLS. We've done a general home search. Now what we're gonna do is use that same criteria to set up an auto email for our clients. So you've got your client or a potential client, a hot lead uh, that you think is interested in buying a house in a certain area. And so you've gotten their contact information and then you're gonna enter that contact information and use that to send a reoccurring auto email. So let me share my screen and let's dive in. All right, so here's our criteria from our last search. There were 56 matches. What I am going to do is very simply hit results. And then uh, I can go back and, and do this single line display here if I'd like. But this is the key right here. I'm gonna hit save new auto email all right then from there you can pick your contacts who you have in here so i'll send this to myself but if you hadn't yet entered these people you'd hit create new contact enter first name last name email address and then the salutation you'd like to use so hello hi dear whichever so i'm going to use myself so i'm going to email myself and let's say my wife was interested in looking at these homes as well, or someone else, let's say who maybe a family member or a friend who's helping this person buy this house or somebody who's interested, maybe it's a business partner or something like that. You could copy that person here, just simply enter their email here. And then I always select to BCC myself. I can't because it's emailing myself, but uh, in a typical uh, transaction, I would do that. I would make sure to blind copy myself so that I know those emails are going out um, to them. Then I would just simply do a subject. I'd say Robinson Home Search, typically last name, and then just Home Search. This is the welcome email that they send. This is the first time and the only time that this email will be sent is the is the first email blast you send. So. This just gives some very over generic details about MLS and their access to the portal and stuff. So um, I typically would just hit enter a few times and then add some of these nice little dashes to separate it. And I'd say, hey Drew, it was so great to meet you and your wife Lexi today, uh, to meet your wife Lexi today. Uh, so excited to help in the home buying process. I've set up an auto email for you that will show you available properties based on your criteria. Make sure to log in and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Also, check out the home in the Lakes neighborhood, and I would include the address. You know, I would type that in and include the address there. So I'm calling out like this specific one or even the MLS number, you know, check out this MLS number. Um, and so I'm obviously not going to do that now, but that's what I would do I'd, so to show like I'm actively looking for some homes for you too, based on our conversation. And here's, here's what I've got. So I'd set that up. And then the reoccurring email, this is just simply what it says when it blasts out a new email. It's just saying, Hey, there's something that matches the criteria that's been set up for you. So then uh, once these are all set, uh, you'll do all PM and daily you hit save and voila. There you go. You have now sent an auto email. So anytime anything updates with this criteria, it will auto populate and automatically send an email so that they are right on top of that list so that they know um, if anything that meets what they are looking for is available. So a super slick tool. And then if you've blind copied yourself, you know as well. So you don't necessarily have to be sitting here hitting refresh all the time on what are the new listings? What are the new listings? It'll just email it to you all right away. So that's how you set up an auto email based on the criteria that we used previously. All right. Thanks for checking it out.